So we're making some slatted racks here for the beehives. I've got two to make. And uh, I'm using three quarter inch plywood and some one bias to go around the edges. So this is the piece of three quarter inch plywood. So I've used a three eighths inch uh, dado stack for your table saw. And uh, use that to cut three eighths inch slits on here. So each frame is an inch and three eighths wide, which leaves you an, an inch piece of wood there and a three eighths inch gap. On the front, this will be the front of the hive. This is, I measure four and three eighths inches because um, I'm gonna put three eighths of this into the uh, rim around the outside. And so you'll, they'll have a four inch shelf here. So then I just take the plywood and I drop it down onto the dado blade, dado stack, um, and then I've got it marked on the fence to where when it's upside down, the blade will come right back here and leave a 3 8 inch gap right there. And so it will not create any holes for like um, small hive beetles or anything to get into it. And it'll look like that. So there's no small holes in here for a small hive beetle to hide out, but it'll come down pretty much flush with the edge of this. This is what it looks like uh, upside down here. So I've only used uh, two inches. A lot of guys will use three or four inch thickness here. Um, I've just done two inches on my other four hives and uh, that's what I'm gonna stick with so that everything's consistent. And then so after these are cut, well, I make a line here and I drop the blade in um, and push it all the way down until this will hit my mark on the fence and then I start pushing it this way bringing the blade back and I've marked here at four and three eighths inches and that's just basically where I stop the blade then and then I on the fence and then you just move it over an inch and three eighths do it again move it over inch and three eighths do it again until you're going all the way across like this and then we put the three quarter for there we had a three eighths inch dado stack and then we up it to three quarter and adjust the height of it and so it'll only cut a three eighths inch depth groove there and we come along these are the front this will be the front and the back piece and we zip those down and then these are the, the side pieces here and then these ones here we also cut a three quarter inch uh, groove on the back and the front or on both sides I should say and so it fits together like this and then we just clamp that together and with some glue and I don't use any screws for it and I've ran these for a couple years now and they work really well